Fortune, the uneven bars, Yao Chen from the People's Republic of China. Yao Chen is a very competent bars worker and a tradition of the Chinese gym gymnasts who have had many world champions. Mounting from the outside of the high bar, straight into handstand, into a giant swing. And there's a full pirouette and giant, a very superior movement, straight into her catch -heavy or reverse hex. These girls are very confident in their movements today. On the low bar, which they must touch. So, circle and straight into a front somersault with half turn. And expected good performance from the young 15-year-old from Beijing. And here's the leader on the uneven bars, Olga Strashaver of the Soviet Union, who has a comfortable 0.15 margin going into this final performance over Yao Chen. But Yao Chen has already given us a performance of 9.80. The current leader. And that is a comfortable lead, Bruce. Uh, but nevertheless, she's still got to complete a routine with 10 elements successfully. And this is certainly some routine. Very dynamic indeed. It all happens extremely quickly, so we need to watch for these releases. A most unusual mount, she does a backhand swing over the low bar, and that's blind. Very difficult to catch. Oh, beautiful combination. And there's her first release, a Ginga Somersault. Straight to the low bar. There's so much content in this exercise, you nearly miss it. Second release, Kachev. Plenty of strength. And a dismount. Oh, a full twisting double somersault with a full twist in the second somersault. That's a world standard event. That, that routine could possibly win a medal at any world championship or Olympic game. And here we see the Ginga somersault, a backward somersault with half turn to recatch the high bar. She immediately jumped over the low bar to have that compulsory touch of the low bar and straight back onto the high bar to continue her long swinging. Very happy with that performance. Bay Chaver, by the way, in the rhythmic scored 9.80, so she leads with 19.50. And Stress Shaver, we're about to get her score of 9.875. 9.875, so that's the... by each of her in rhythmic to artistic and Yao Chen from the People's Republic of China. Yao was a silver medalist in the uneven bars, currently in fourth position of the beam with a score of 9.65. And the beam has created a lot of problems today. Trisha Forstam came in with 9.55 and could only manage 8.25. Yes, she had two falls and we'll just see how this young lady goes. She's mounting from the side. Another one of those circles around the beam. They're becoming more and more popular. Gymnasts are required to work along the full length of the beam and close to and far away. And obviously the circling movement fulfills the requirement of working very close to the beam. Now she's preparing for her acrobatic series. Light pause for concentration. Big flex. Oh, and two layout soldiers. What a fine performance and very, very steady. That's the hallmark of a, a true international performer. And a beautiful slip lead. Nice aerial calf wheel, or a barani as it's sometimes known, into another fifth lap. Three pivot. She's making it look so easy. Preparing for her dismount. Round off. Double back salto with one step on landing. A fine performance from the young 15 year old from China. She certainly means business, and at, uh, at this rate, could be in the medal. Certainly she could. Here we see again that flick flack and the layout, layout salto. Excellent combination. Very good technique. Great height. That's hard enough on the ground, but here we see it performed with confidence on the balance beam. One of the many stars from the Soviet Union here today. Strashaver, the gold medalist on the uneven bars, in third position on the beam. Equal second, actually, because she has 9.7. Let's see if she can match Yao Chen's 
Tris Chaver won the all-round competition last night, commencing again with a round off back handspring, back handspring, and Salter. A great start to the Beamley too. I think we're really into something exciting in this routine, Peter. That would have to be one of the most difficult combinations, Francis. In a one-arm handstand, the girls much old. Oh, from the handstand into a little heely twirl, a movement taken from men's gymnastics on the floor exercise in parallel bars, but here shown on the beam. She is certainly an exciting performer. A definite candidate for the USSR Olympic team this year. We look forward to seeing her in Seoul. Held from the Ukraine. very confident as she moves along, combining the acrobatic skills and the little dance steps, preparing for her acrobatic series. Six lap, layout salto, six lap. That's an unusual combination. Yes, it is. I guess she's already shown us the six lap salto, so she's just putting it in a different combination. Absolute confidence. Yes, there is no hesitation in her work. And and that shows the strength and confidence in the movement. And a double back somersault, one small step on landing. But a very good performance by Strazeva, the all-round individual winner from last night's competition. Here you see that wonderful mount again. The round-off approach onto the beam and straight into the flick flack. And then the layout salto. Great start to the beam routine. You don't see too many like that. She's using this beam as, as if it was a floor exercise mat and her dismount, round off. She has to complete two somersaults now before she lands dead fast on the ground and one fairly large step on landing, but that will only be a minor deduction for her. Excellent performance and has scored 9.9. The girl will be from also the People's Republic of China, Yao Chen, bronze medalist in the beams today. Currently third on the floor, carries 9.5 into this routine. And of course, Yao Cheng was placed second last night in the all-round individual title. After her great theme performance, I'm sure this will be an exciting one indeed. Preparing for her first tumbling series. A nice double pipe back somersault. Very well performed. Those double somersaults were once only the realm of male gymnasts. We'll see mid-70s to late-70s, we've now seen the female, their female counterparts performing them, and even with twists. In fact, it's accepted today that the girls must have double somersaults with twists in one of the somersaults to rank in medal contention. Second tumbling pass, put back through the double twist, a slight stumble there. Francis is a good choice of music for this lady. It has an oriental flavour to it. Yes, it's a very good choice for her. One of the things the Chinese have been lacking in over these few years have been in the area of choreography, but obviously they've now caught up. Their tumbling skills have always been excellent, and they are now very, very creative. And here we have her preparing for her third and final tumbling pass. back salto. That will earn her a bonus point for finishing with a double back salto. A fine routine from Yao Qing of China. And coming up shortly, Monique Allen, who's in second position on the floor. Monique. Latest trend and immediately into a third. One and three quarter somersault. That's of the highest difficulty. In fact, it's so complex it's really hard to comprehend. now with back through the double back no problems at all but there's a stumble certainly a point two or three deduction this young lady hasn't held anything back today she's demonstrated her full complement of movements in her floor routine in fact on every apparatus and as you can see she's a very strong lady
double back somersault and well landed. Great routine. That color of a routine is very rarely seen in this country, and it's a pleasure to see here at this bicentennial gymnastic competition. Well, Strasgate has been outstanding today with 9.875 on the uneven bars, 9.9 .9 on the beam, and she will score very well again on the floor. And here again we see this combination of the two tumbling series. This was first originated by one of the Soviet team members in the World Championships, a lady known as the Little Cricket. The two combinations backwards and forwards were first done by Amelia Chek of the Soviet Union. And there's the final tumbling pass. Great performance by this young lady who's 15 years of age and will certainly be in the Soviet team in Seoul. And a big hit here today in Sydney. Hope you're enjoying it all around Australia on 10 Sports Action. Parallel bars, floor completed, ribbons still going on. High bar to come more after 12. Let's join her once again. Is that worth the...